join me here today at the Gardener Social. We've had a few bites last night and I just wanted to run you through a rig that has done me the bites on this social trip and also over the last couple of years. For one of my favourite rigs, the MG rig, it's a rig I've done really well in, in the last two years. And yeah, just something I've got loads and loads of confidence in. At the moment I'm fishing it like a little snowman, like whittled down slightly, sinks nice and slow, um, presentation's great. And these fish are very pressured, people booking in week in, week out. So I need to fish something to pull my faith in. So I've had seven fish now, seven bites, seven fish landed, and there has been a few fish dropped. And I think that's to do with the fish getting away with it. You know, really pressured carp, like I say. And uh, this rig has not let me down this session. So the, the rig itself is really, really easy to tie. Overhand knot, like you would on a like a hair rig or on the end of your of any sort of rigs that you can just loop onto a quick change swivel. And um, yeah, so you just loop to loop both ends, but the end where it goes onto the hook, you just do an overhand loop, the same size as the hook that you're using. I choose to use the uh, size six gardener mugger hook. So you just yeah thread it through the eye, wrap it over the hook and pull down tight, all the way down, like a multi-rig where you'd have the, the loop going over like a D-rig. Uh, this is pulled all the way down to the eye and then that doubled up section works as like a kicker. Uh, on the knot, you can put, uh, put a bit of putty just to help uh, turn and um, flip the rig round into the bottom lip. And then you've got the German's, German end, which is the flexi ring swivel on the back of the hook that runs up and down, giving it that, that 360 movement. And then you've got a simple uh, hook stop, stop it just opposite of the barb is like where I like to place it. And yeah, it's a nice simple rig. You can change the hooks really, really quick. You know, if you're catching quite regularly like I have done this session, you can change the hooks, get the rig back out there and you're back fishing within yeah, minutes. And if you need to change a hook bait or add maggots to the top of your rig or anything like that, it's really easy, simple to do, and you can keep the boom sections rolling. And yeah, done really, really well on it. Hopefully, it does really well for you guys.